dear viewers assalam alaikum uh, welcome to a new lecture of labor economics uh, viewers uh, in our today's lecture we will discuss uh, the population labor force and employment in pakistan uh, in the lectures uh, so far we uh, discussed uh, uh, theories of labor force theories of uh, about the demand and supply of labor and uh, so many other topics our today's lecture is uh, relevant to the economy of Pakistan and in which we will discuss the population, labor force and employment situation in Pakistan. Uh, viewers, uh, uh, we are discussing this in light of the uh, recent population census. Uh, the population of Pakistan uh, uh, threefolded uh, in the last 50 years uh, largely due to high fertility and growth rates. Uh, still we have very high uh, growth rate uh, which we will discuss in the coming slides and uh, we see that the population of Pakistan are most tripled in the last 50 years. Uh, as a result the population density has risen from 82 people per square kilometer in 1972 to 303 uh, square, uh, per square kilometer in 2023. Uh, here you can see how much jump is in Population density ki ke number of persons living per square kilometer wo 82 thi and which is now 303, uh, which shows uh, the uh, increase very high in the population. Uh, let's see uh, an overview of the uh, population of Pakistan. In this graph, uh, we see that uh, the population of Pakistan was uh, uh, 65.3 million uh, in 1972. Uh, and uh, when another census was conducted in 1981, that uh, population increased to 84.3 million. Uh, similarly, we, we see uh, that in 1998 census it was 32.4 million, uh, and to, uh, 2017 uh, it was 207.7 uh, million, and uh, 2023 uh, in the latest uh, uh, population census. The population of Pakistan is 241.5 million. So, agar hum dekh le, to, uh, even uh, in the last six years, we have a huge uh, rise in addition of about uh, 35, uh, 35, 4 million uh, in the population of Pakistan, uh, which is a big, uh, very, very big increase. So. Uh, this table shows uh, an increasing trend in the population of Pakistan. These are the some of the indicators. Uh, the population we compare the uh, 2017 and 2020 census. The population uh, in, uh, in the 2017 was 207.6 million. Uh, as discussed earlier, which became 241, uh, which uh, uh, 0.5 million, almost an increase of 35 million. Uh, we see the household size was 32. Point, uh, there were 32.2 million households. And now the number of households increased to uh, 38.34. The average household size uh, uh, decreased. Uh, the rural population uh, we see uh, that uh, also increased, and the urban population also increased. The population growth rate uh, also showed an increase. Uh, the uh, urban population uh, also increased uh, and uh, the population growth in rural areas uh, it, uh, uh, is comparatively uh, lower. It is very strange that the population growth in the urban areas is very high and uh, the uh, population growth uh, in the rural areas is uh, uh, comparatively very low. Uh, similarly, the density, population density uh, which was uh, 260.8 uh, per square kilometer increased to 303. Uh, uh, per square kilometer. Uh, this is province wise education. Uh, we see that uh, the population in almost uh, the all the provinces uh, show uh, a rising trend. Uh, Punjab uh, 109 to 127, uh, Khyber Pakhtun uh, 47 to 55, Khyber Pakhtun 534 to 40, Baluchistan 12 to 14, is now about 2.36 and uh, in the world, all population increased from 207.68 uh, million to 241.5 million. 
so far the uh, urbanized population is uh, uh, concerned uh, we see that uh, the uh, urban population was uh, uh, six. we see uh, in 1998 the rural population was 67 while in 2023 the rural population was uh, uh, 61 point uh, even if you compare it with the 2017 uh, the urban population uh, rural population decreased while the urban population increased uh, we can say that uh, now the, in pakistan the urban population is 38.82 uh, percent uh, while the rural population is 61 percent uh, which uh, indicate the uh, urbanization tra urbanization trend in the khabar pakhtunkhwa we see that uh, the uh, urban population uh, decreased surprisingly in the punjab it increased in the eastern Increase in the Balochistan, it increased uh, while in this number it also showed a downward trend. Labor force uh, and uh, employment in Pakistan. Uh, the Bureau of Pakistan Bureau of Statistics has uh, conducted labor force surveys in uh, uh, is conducting labor force surveys in nine, since 1963. We get the labor force survey uh, uh, and uh, the data of, about the labor force from the, in the labor force survey and which is regularly conducted by the Pakistan Bureau of Statistics. Uh, the high world uh, labor force survey for 2023 uh, 23 could not be undertaken due to the uh, engagement of TGS with the same population and housing census. However, work on the 24-25 is under progress. Uh, look at the labor force uh, uh, in Pakistan. Uh, this is a uh, labor force in Pakistan. The total labor force in Pakistan uh, is uh, in the 2020-21 uh, uh, labor force survey. Uh, it was uh, 71.76 million, while the employed was 57.25 million, while there were 4.5 uh, million uh, unemployed population. The employment stock in Pakistan has changed over decades. The table 5 provided trends of the total employed and unemployed force in Pakistan. Uh, due to the technological uh, transformation, the share of the employment in the agriculture sector, 37.4, uh, has been shifted to industry and services sector. The services sector is the largest growing sector of the economy, and the share of employment in the services and, uh, industry was 37.2 uh, million. Uh, percent in 2021. Uh, distribution of uh, employment concerning age and gender. The unemployed by age and gender, we see that uh, the, uh, the total labor force, uh, male labor force, and uh, the female labor force uh, uh, in this uh, table. Look here in this uh, uh, table, the labor force uh, uh, data taken from labor force survey. The total labor force uh, in 2021 was 71.6 million. The rural labor force was 46.48.5 million. Uh, the urban labor force was this much. The unemployment was, uh, employed labor force was 67.25 million. And uh, the rural labor force was 47.7 million. The unemployed was 4.51, and the unemployment rate was 6.3 uh, million. And still, uh, we see in our survey the almost 6 plus unemployment rate in Pakistan. The is uh, in the most of most of the policies of Pakistan, the uh, skill development. Uh, and the uh, technological or uh, professional education is uh, discussed. It is suggested because uh, we need uh, skilled people, uh, because the skilled people are considered as the human capital, uh, which can lead to the economic growth. So the government has taken different steps uh, to do that. The cap country's capacity to generate employment depends upon available resources, technological base, advancement, and institutional strategies. 
Human resources skills, technological competence determine the type of employment contributing to sustainable economic growth. Skill development is an important idea to focus on train the youth to meet the needs of emerging market dynamics. Because if we uh, 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 design our education system in such a way that we produce the skilled uh, people, uh, I often talk about uh, the uh, engineering field in our country. We often uh, listen from the people that uh, the scope of uh, the engineering has uh, decreased. But it seems to be very strange because uh, uh, the, uh, it is a very professional uh, degree, the engineering, and uh, the engineers are human capital, if, which if we export, we can earn enough for an exchange in form of the remittances sent by these engineers. So, for this purpose, National Vocational Technical Training uh, Commission, uh, NAV TTC, strategic in initiatives are preparing the technical and vocational education training uh, threat landscape, fostering skill development, addressing the system, uh, system, uh, systemic uh, TVET challenges in Pakistan. The NAVTEC uh, skilled youth uh, uh, skill development related initiatives and most importantly the Prime Minister Youth uh, Skill Development Program registered substantial progress in the TVT landscape of Pakistan creating a robust, inclusive and globally competitive force for sustainable national uh, development. Uh, we see that uh, uh, the federal government as the, as the provincial government they launch uh, uh, the, uh, for time to time different types of the technical programs, technical uh, skill development programs for the youth uh, which can contribute to the economic growth of Pakistan. Uh, it is enough for uh, today. Uh, the viewers, uh, we will discuss more about the labor force uh, of Pakistan in the uh, coming lectures. Uh, so the data uh, which was used in this lecture was taken from the uh, Economic Survey of Pakistan, uh, which is issued by the uh, Ministry of Finance uh, regularly. So, see you in the next lecture.